morning, good evening everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for tuning in to today's session. I would like to encourage all of you wherever you are, whether you're in the kitchen preparing a meal or cleaning up from a meal or sitting in the living room with your family or in your bedroom getting ready to go to sleep or in your own private space. I'd like you to just read with me Ezekiel 37, 1 to 3 on the NIV. It says, The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Well, for many of you who don't know, this year, the theme of our church is far more. And with what's happening around us, especially when we've been hit terribly by the COVID-19 pandemic, far more now seems far off. Because we all have had great plans for year 2020 and now it's all crushed to the ground like dried bones and one wonder if ever things can get better but hang on there as we continue to read in verse 4 to 8 it says then he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the lord this is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I'll put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. See, your crushed dreams and plans have hope now and coming alive. And I just want to encourage all of you to start prophesying over those dreams and plans and see it come alive today because as you begin to prophesy over your dead dreams and plans the sound of fresh new ideas inspiration favor and connection are going to rattle in together god's going to reveal things you have not heard seen or known of and as we continue to read in verse 9 to 14 it says prophesy to the breath Prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Come, breathe from four winds and breath into this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off, therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel and then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it, declares the Lord. As we prophesy life and praise God, fresh life is going to be breathed into these plants and it is going to walk out of its grave and come alive because these are things, plans that God has put in your heart, whether it's been a long time or whether it's recent, but God put it there in your heart for a reason and for a purpose no nothing is hard for God for God never runs out of his miracles and this year is going to be the year of far more 
I hope you've been blessed by this word and this message. And if it has blessed and touched you, I'd like you to comment below and share this with someone who needs to hear this so that they can be encouraged, so that their dreams can come alive once again. And that they too will be blessed just like you. So don't forget to tune in every Tuesday for Nuggets of Inspiration. Wednesday at 5 p.m., a session with the kids. And Saturday, words of encouragement. Sunday celebration, 9 a.m. Chinese session with Pastor Edward, 10 a.m. with Pastor Jeremiah, and 5 p.m., another session with the kids. And if you've missed any of our session throughout this this period of time, you can catch them on our social media, FB and Insta at C3 Clang, C3 Kuala Lumpur. Or you can follow up on our YouTube channel, C3 Media Online. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening in. I hope you've been blessed and that you have a great week. Take care and see you soon.